Hello, welcome back everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw the shear force and the bending moment diagram for this specific beam. Well, let's start. So we know that the shear force and bending moment diagram are one of the critical uh, concepts that civil engineers and other also related engineers should deal with. Well, so for this uh, specific frame, for this specific beam layout that we see here, we have such kind of loading. We have one concentrated load here and a uniformly distributed load on this cantilevering part, okay? So we have this layout, we will go to the ETAPs and we will model this accordingly. I will show you the results of the hand calculation in the next video, but here I will only deal with the uh, uh, with the e taps only here do not forget that it says neglect the weight of the beam okay neglect the weight of the beam okay so here let us continue i'll go to my e tabs i will try to uh, edit and modify the grids so here let me modify the grid here i have from here up to here six and from here up here i have two meters so here in the x let us assume that this is x and this is z okay vertically z and horizontally x okay now and we have the axis a b and c okay on the x direction so here let me give it a name that is a then b then c and i don't need the last one okay let me delete it here it's six and eight okay because it is six meter a for span one and two meter for span two so it is six and then because it is x coordinate the six then six plus two it is eight here now here i have only one axis i don't need this one because in the y it is a line element i don't need this one well uh, let me say okay now i will deal with the z i have this two story it doesn't matter okay i will accept it as it is okay as it is so let me say okay and let me see this now i have this simple xz uh, profile okay i can say may maybe an elevation okay now let me draw the beam i have to select a beam so from my available beams or i may define a new one i already defined a beam section here i call it a beam so let me draw it here 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 then finally here then right click now i have drawn the beam okay now let me assign the joints here we see that it is here what it is a pin support here and it is a roller support here and it is cantilever and so there is no support at this location exactly so i let me select here and assign and assign a joint that is a pin then i may say apply I got it here now here let me apply the roller apply and now here i don't have anything here so let me close it here okay now let me define a load case okay a load pattern so let me call it uh, maybe uh, p okay for this load and this load, okay? or maybe w so let me go to define load pattern let me select maybe uh, w okay whatever w now w can be day live whatever is let me select other okay other so the, the self weight multiplier is zero so i will say add so this will be my load for the concentrated load as well as for the distributed load i can have a different loading uh, pattern okay a loading name so uh, the other issue is that here it says you have to neglect the weight of the beam here I will do what the dead load okay the dead i have to use it zero self weight multiplier so here i will neglect the weight of the beam i will say here what modify load so the self weight multiplier will be zero now the weight of the beam will be neglected okay now let me say okay now let me start assigning the loads so i will select the beam then i will go to assign then frame load on the frame i want to assign a point load right so point then what it is w okay now at what location it says 
absolute distance from in the a let me say so from in the a i this is i this is j so from i it is at three meter from in i so i have 25 kilo newtons so at this location the distance is how much three and i will assign how much it is 25 so i will say apply it shows me here the result okay now close now let me select the other one now uh, i think it's not that much visible let me change the color okay it is b i will say modify let me select the color maybe to uh, maybe something like this now it's more visible here okay so let me select this one then i will go to assign then frame load now it is distributed so i will select w then the load distribute is how much it is it is 14 it's already here okay 14 then let me say apply okay you can say replace existing load or you can say add to existing load if you have already existing loads that you want to add but for our case i want to replace if there is any load to replace it with this one okay apply now i have these two loads this is 50, 25 this is 14 now i can run the analysis okay before that you may be required to save i have already saved it in sfd shear force diagram and benimon diagram now let me run the analysis okay within a fraction of seconds and everything will be run and this will be the this is now after the, the analysis is run now let me check the shear force and the benimon diagram okay now what case do i want i want the case of w because these both elements are w okay now here i will select moment 33 i may prepare uh, for you a video that talks about what m33 m22 everything here okay if you are interested please write in the comment section below okay so now let me say let me uh, check these two uh, check boxes then let me say apply now it shows me what it is here positive moment diagram then negative moment diagram then there is a kind of sli slightly curve here curve here okay so here the maximum moment is positively 23.5 it's a positive moment and here it is minus 28 and it is negative bending moment at the support okay at the support this is how you can easily model such kind of beams uh, in etaps and find the bending moment diagram if i want the shear i have to go to shear 2 2 okay for moment it is 3 3 and for shear it is 2 2 okay now let me say apply now it shows me the shear force diagram like this okay so it is minus 7.83 here 17 point something and here it is minus 28 so this is the shear force diagram and here is the bending moment diagram If you have liked this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, thank you for watching. Please share it with your friends. See you next time.